Hey everybody, Joe from Passion Unchained here. I'm here to tell you about all the things in life, love, and happiness. Help you get there. Today, I'm going to tell you about how the movie Inception will help you unlock a key path towards dating success that might be off limits to you right now. Stay tuned. Welcome back, everybody. As you guys know, I've done dating profile photography for over 100 guys. I've been invited to over 20 cities to help them out too. And when I tell people what I do, I often receive two criticisms. The first is, isn't that too try hard? And the second is, isn't that catfishing? In this video, I'm going to explain to you how Inception solves these problems for you and helps unlock this path that you might otherwise be closed off from because of your own beliefs. This belief that I'm going to help you work through will help you unlock the path of improving your dating profile photos, whether it be on your own with a friend who has a nice camera or by working with a professional dating profile photographer like me. I've worked with a lot of clients who have tried over and over again to get good photos and get matches with no success. It's frustrating and demoralizing when you want to get these dates, you want to have a dating life that you love, you want to find girls that like you and that want to have sex with you and that want to date you. But even though you pay for Tinder and Bumble and Hinge and you put a bunch of boosts up, uh, you don't get results and it's frustrating. I've been there, a lot of my clients have been there and I get intimately how much that hurts. And then I've had a lot of clients who come to me and they're like, I almost didn't talk to you because I've heard over and over again that dating profile photos, that getting dating profile photos, that paying for them, that working hard to get girls is too try hard. All my friends tell me I shouldn't be talking to you. I shouldn't be paying you money. Um, I'm definitely not cheap. So the fact that I'm spending this or even thinking about spending this amount of money means that I'm needy, means that I'm too try hard. And, and, and then even so, having professional photos like yours is me catfishing. I'm lying to people. I'm not really this guy who goes out and takes awesome photos. I'm not really that guy. We're going to be posing. So that's catfishing and that's fake. And I get it. Both of those ideas make sense. Logically, I could see why people see working hard or paying a lot of money or spending some time on improving your dating profile photos or hiring a professional would be try hard and you'd be catfishing other people. I totally understand that idea and it makes logical sense. You're setting up photos that show only your best parts, only the highlights of your life. I can see why people would think that would be catfishing. However, this analogy I'm going to show you is going to help you understand why this belief is not really the truth. That plus my experience with over 100 clients, I've never once in my own life or in my clients' lives experienced a girl who felt like she was being catfished. And in addition, I found that instead of girls judging guys who work with me or work hard on their profiles with somebody else or on their own, instead of judging them as needy or try hard, I found that girls respect them more because they've invested in their goals. I'm going to explain all this through an analogy I think you'll love and I think will be fun for you. And I think it'll make sense. So here goes. In 2010, Christopher Nolan released his most ambitious movie yet. It was an idea he had for over 20 years in his mind. And it was called Inception. It was an exciting movie about corporate espionage in dreams with intriguing ideas of dreams within dreams and what is reality and what is the world around us but done in a Hollywood set in a blockbuster huge production with action and suspense and a thrilling premise. There's a lot going on. There's the intrigue and the suspense and the thrill, the train barreling through the streets of a city intersection. And to adjust the pacing, they have some times in the movie that are more relaxed. For instance, there's some background story in a classroom in Paris with Michael Caine when you see the main character, Cobb, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, talk with Mike, Michael Caine, who, if I remember correctly, is the father of his late wife. I don't know how many of my viewers saw the movie or saw it in theaters or saw the trailer, but I'll let you know that the movie experience was amazing. 
and the trailer was also very exciting. It made you want to see it. It showed all the best parts of the movie, the excitement, the part where Joseph Gordon-Levitt was climbing on the walls of the hotel in a fist-to-fist battle with that other guy because everything was turning over because in the dream state, the person who was dreaming, that dream was also turning over, tumbling in a car. There were some super exciting parts of the trailer, and it made you want to see it. Imagine if the trailer was just that scene in Paris, in Michael Caine's classroom. Just a little bit of background story and no action and no excitement. Now, I love Michael Caine's voice more than anyone else, but I wouldn't want to see that boring piece of shit. Not Michael Caine. I mean, just a movie with only that as the premise, only the boring parts of Inception. I would not want to see that. If the movie trailer only showed the boring parts, I would not want to see this movie. Like I said, the trailer only showed the exciting parts. It showed the highlights, the best parts of the movie. The train barreling through the street, the dream sequences. Do you think that Christopher Nolan and Warner Brothers were needy and trying to get your attention and trying to get you to the theater and give them money? Do you think that they were needy and only showing the best parts of the movie and really trying to put together a trailer with the best parts and the most ideal parts with a cohesive enough story to give you an idea of what it is, but enough mystery to make you excited and interested to see it? No. You probably respected them trying to put in a good impression. You probably were excited to see the movie, and even if you weren't, you were like, well, I understand what they're doing, and I get it, and I respect it. It makes sense. This production company wants to show you the best part of the movie so you get excited about the movie. Similarly, if you just put up a couple selfies on Tinder and maybe some other photos you had on your phone and didn't put a bio and didn't try, do you think girls will be impressed by your non-neediness? Do you think they'll be impressed by your confidence in not trying? Just like if Inception had a very boring, no-effort movie trailer where they're just put a bunch of clips together and were like, yeah, come see the movie if you want. It's out at this date. You'd probably be very put off and bored. And it does not seem, it doesn't make you excited about the movie. It doesn't make you respect them anymore. Girls don't care if you don't try. And I'm not saying go all out and do everything you can to like try to make girls come. What I am saying is respecting yourself and making your profile look good goes a long way. And people will only see that as a good thing. Now that's the first thing I hear, that getting professional photos is too try hard. There's also the second bit that we talked about. And the second bit is that some people see that as catfishing. I don't know who saw the trailer first and then decided to see the movie in theaters. I'm sure you can take this experience and apply it to any movie that you've ever seen a trailer first and then gone to the theater, especially an action movie. There are some boring bits in the middle of every action movie. It's to alter the pacing and make it not as overwhelming and always on top. You need to have some relaxed bits to get a good flow. Even in a thrilling movie, you need those bits to even things out. And say Inception or whatever movie is in your mind that you've done this with recently. When you went to the movie, were you angry that there were boring parts of the movie? Were you angry that the trailer showed exciting pieces and... Those exciting pieces were in the movie, but there were some parts of the movie that weren't so exciting. No, you probably weren't. You probably understood that they're showing the highlights of the movie. They're not showing every little part of the movie. They're only showing the best parts because they want you to go see the movie. They want you to pay a little bit of money so you see the movie so they get their investment back. People understand that with movies. And girls understand that with guys. On dating profiles... Girls aren't mad that on your dating profile, you look super cool. You look like you have an interesting lifestyle and hobbies. And then some days you just want to sit in and watch Netflix. They're not going to get mad at you that you're not 100% all the time, every single thing you have on your dating profile. It's got to be authentic. Yeah. The things in your dating profile do have to be you. You can't have a bunch of running photos on your profile. If you're not an athletic guy, you don't work out at all. But if you skip some weeks here and there, who cares? And you can't have a shot of you paddle boarding on your profile if you hate the water. Just like in a movie trailer, if they show a scene that is not in the movie, you're probably going to be a little bit annoyed. 
But aside from that, as long as the things in your profile are authentic, are things that you could be caught doing some of the days that you live, girls understand that not every day is 100% day. They're not expecting you to be on your game 100% of the time. In fact, that would make you seem kind of fake to them. And they might be turned off by you being 100% perfect all the time. So no, as long as the photos that you take are things that you could potentially be caught doing on your best day, it's not catfishing at all. That's the heuristic I use when taking photos for my clients. Could my clients on their best day be caught doing the things that we're photographing? If the answer is yes, then let's go for it. Let's show the highlights. Let's show the best parts of their life because girls understand that on a dating app, they're seeing a trailer for what it would be like to date you. And like we've already discussed, trailers only show the highlights and that's totally fine. In fact, that's the best thing that they can do. They don't show the boring parts. They only show the best parts. And on your dating profile, that's what you ought to do. Even if it makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable. We've discussed today how really trying on your dating profile or hiring a photographer, paying a lot of money for somebody like me to get you taken care of and get you more matches and more dates, that isn't try hard. In fact, that's respecting yourself. And it isn't catfishing. It's just showing your highlights. And girls understand that you might not be that person 100% of the time. And in fact, if you were, you would feel fake and unattainable. You're more relatable if you're a person who's imperfect and has a couple bad days here and there. You have to have your shit together, sure, and you have to be somewhat of the person that you show in your profile, but it doesn't have to be you 100% of the time. It's okay to just show the highlights on your dating profile photos. If you've been struggling in getting matches on dating profiles and you want to get more matches and get more dates, then check the link in the description below Look at the way that I do things and my packages and how I help clients. Look at the photos I've taken from clients and the texts they've sent me about their success after our photo shoot. All of that is on the website. In addition to full shoots I've done for some recent clients that you can check out. And if you like what you see, let's work together. If this information spoke to you or helped you out in any way, please subscribe as I release videos like this every single week. And share it with that single friend that's having trouble getting dates. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Hey everybody, Joe from Passion Unchained here. Your favorite guy to tell you about things and stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness.